Okay, you join us in a rather messy test bit towers um, hallway to test this little baby. This is the Q4 quadcopter from Red 5. as a controls as well. Tiny, tiny little thing. We've reviewed it. I'm mean, Hopefully you've read that by now at uh, thetestbit.com. Uh, really, really pleased with this. A lot of fun. What we thought we'd do is just take a video just to show you how easy this damn thing is to fly and also to get a sense of the, the size. Look, this, this is a normal man hand and that's how big it is. To so switch it on. Got a tiny little switch under here, just behind the charging dock. And there we go. Flashing very, very bright. Blue at the front, red at the back. Same with the uh, controls. On it goes, and it should sync automatically. There we go, so green light, we're away. So what we're gonna do, we've got the heads up cam, by the way, so hopefully uh, <laughs> you can see exactly what's happening. And we're just gonna get it very going. Get it going, Jen. There we go. Oh, lovely stuff, and we're away, we're away, whoa, now, just like any quadcopter, it takes a bit of practice to get the thing going. Oh, there we go, floating around nicely. Now, at the moment, we've got it on beginner level, so it's pretty easy to, to control. We've got it facing away from us at the moment, which is the easiest way to do it, just to keep it going. Again, like any quadcopter, it is just a case, really, of balancing the altitude. <laughs> it doesn't have GPS or anything like that. It doesn't know where the ground is, so you will spend most of your time messing about with the throttle to keep it level. But as you can see, it's really very simple to keep this baby up in the air. Where are you going? Where are you going? So what we're going to do, we'll bring it close. We're going to go to the advanced setting by pressing the red stick twice you can hear the beeps there's two and there's three which means we are now come on oh we're a little bit more sensitive as you can see when we move it around it wobbles a lot more and we can do this ready oh no come back come back Way! <laughs> there's a lot more sensitivity in it with the advanced setting <laughs> we can do lots of little things, and we can also do flips. I find it a little bit tricky to do the flip at the beginning. Hang on, here we go. Hey, there's a flip. <laughs> Hopefully, you can see that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and there we go. So I'm going to set this back onto beginner mode now. So now the sensitivity drops. Control becomes a little bit easier. There's a fella. You can see the washing. There we go. Hopefully, you've seen this good in the head cam. Apologies for the mess. <laughs> so this is a hell of a lot of fun to fly. We do recommend mainly just for indoor flying. We did take it outside a few times, but the wind did get the better of it and we ended up in the neighbor's garden a lot. Watch also for the rotor blades. They have a tendency to drop off whenever you have a crash, which apparently is a good thing really, because it's not gonna damage the motors or the blades themselves if they just pop off from time to time. So this, way, <laughs> this is a Q4 quadcopter, retails for less than £30 from Red5. Flashy, 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 yay! Read the review at testbit.com and share this video. Please, follow us on Twitter, at the testbit, yay!